all right everybody welcome back to the big blue dynasty series here on madden 24 we are on week number 14 of the 2024 season and the giants are nine and three today we are going against the minnesota vikings who surprisingly during the draft did not go after a qb despite tra trading up with the cardinals they went with joe alt so their o-line is pretty freaking nasty but the rest of that team may have some issues when you look at the depth chart of the vikings you got sam donald as a starting qb with aaron jones and tyson and ty chandler at running back wide receivers justin jefferson jordan addison and robert woods you got tight end tj hawkinson and josh oliver there's the tackle right there and joe alt Christian Derrishaw moves inside to left guard. You got Garrett Bradbury at center, right guard Ed Ingram, and right tackle Brian O'Neill. Left end is going to be DJ Jones with right end Jonathan Grenard. Defensive tackle is going to be Harrison Phillips and Jerry Tillery. Left outside linebacker Blake Cashman, Ivan Pace and Schobert in the interior linebacker with Van Ginkle at right outside linebacker. Corners are Byron Murphy, Marcus Peters, Mackie Blackman, Free safety Cameron Bynum and strong safety Harrison Smith. So we have another home game here in MetLife Stadium. The fact that the Giants are 9-3 and three is kind of crazy. Daniel Jones has played okay. Last game, 161 yards only, but he threw three touchdowns and one interception. Uh, we're going against a team here led by Sam Darnold. Now we have to remember, Sam Darnold may not be the next big thing. But this could always be a trap game we have to consider here. We have to stay diligent and we got to stay up to ensure that we kind of keep it rolling here because it is not going to be easy going against this squad. The Vikings are very well coached and uh, we cannot take any of these games for granted. We have to win to keep us moving forward here. Sam Darnold trying to pump his team up. We're trying to stay pumped up right now. I'm excited for this squad, though. The Giants have been playing well. We're rocking the 80s outfit uh, uniform right now, while the Vikings are rocking the old 2010 classics there. Beautiful purple. Uh, we get the ball to start this off. Look at the Seahawks, man. They're 8-4. and four. They're going against the Buffalo Bills, 9-3. and three. So there are some very good teams across the league that are kind of fi figuring it out. McKenzie finds some room. He's going to be down at about the 29-yard line. Decent return right there. McKenzie's been a very good return specialist for us. Um, you know, after, uh, you know, certain spots. I got him playing in the slot, but with the injury of Wandale, or Wandale's back, with the injury of Jalen Hyatt, we're seeing more Malachi Corley playing right now, too, which has been kind of nice. But Wandale returning has been such a nice... Uh, pace for us after him coming back from a huge uh, lengthy injury time frame so I'm happy with what we got right now there goes DJ's rolling out throws the drag route here to Wandale to start this off he's gonna get tackled out of bounds by Van Ginkle at the 42 but that's an easy 13 yarder there I like what I'm seeing so far DJ oh man we got some room there it's a 2-4 mug concept they sent the blitz here he's got room DJ's got time, and he just overthrows that. Big mistake by Daniel Jones right there. That is not what we needed, but it is what we got. We got a strong side formation here set up. Going for this right here. Uh, Singletary trying to find room, but loses a yard on that one. We got a third and long situation here. All because of one incomplete pass, right? Everything kind of goes to crap. The running game has has been okay, but it hasn't been the greatest. Honestly, it's similar to what we would have gotten from Saquon. But I think we're doing, you know, what we can there. He just got time. Hits Corley, but defended by Bynum. No idea how he was able to see that one. Eyes in the back of his head. And the uh, Giants have to punt this off here. Niners six and six going against the four and eight Los Angeles Rams. That division is kind of up for grabs right now. Uh, seemingly, Detroit they figured it out. They were having a tough time at the beginning of the year. They're now seven and five. That's kind of cool to see. But you got Sam Darnold ready to roll, right? The guy is uh, been traveling, been a journeyman after being drafted in the uh, early first round. 
Yeah, but it's tough. Wide bunch right there. They're going for a slant. That was a lot of uh, window dressing on the right side. We were paying attention to that end and got smoked. Jefferson with the easy snag. It's going to be tough competition for Banks. You know, we got to figure out how to allow him to kind of progress. He's been doing all right on that end, but you know, we got to continue to get pressure. Donald throws it over to Aaron Jones, who gets tackled by Kayvon Thibodeau behind the line of scrimmage there. Loss of a yard. Empty bench. What I like about these concepts is it's it's about trying to force some pressure there. He's got a drag route, but the pressure coming in right up the middle by Okereke. Loss is seven yards now, third and eight. The more we send the dogs, the better here. We have been sending players in for big sacks, man, and that's what I want. Double team there. Donald's in trouble. Maddox trying to chase. Crossbody throw wide open is number three, Addison. Why is he wide open on a freaking man coverage? Who blew the coverage there? What the heck was that? Dude, that was man coverage. Where did the guy go? Bunch right here. Donald is being chased down. Dexter just over pursued. He hits him hard, but the ball... You know, it ends up only being an incomplete pass versus a sack. Uh, we got to figure out how to get this through, man. 7.06 left here in the first quarter. Pressure coming in again. Throws the drag up. Good hit right there by Hawkins. You know, I was wondering if we needed a corner two, and Trey Hawkins has definitely stepped up in a, in a huge way for us. We have to continue to figure out, right, how we're going to uh, improve this team. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Donald's in trouble! He's able to get away! But he did get smoked by Brian Burns there. And uh, the Giants get the ball back here. I'm liking what I'm seeing there. The edge rushes are happening, right? Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau, uh, Dexter Lawrence in the interior pressure, Mike Donna. Things are working out in a way that I can appreciate. There goes McKenzie trying to find his way. He's going to be down at the 20-yard line. Maybe we should have taken the chance and let the ball hit the ground and maybe would have gotten out, but... We got to roll with what we can got, uh, get here. We got a trips left, a tight end left here. 651 left here in the first quarter, going for an outside zone. There goes Singletary trying to find his way, being chased down by number 24. Injury on the field, though. Left end DJ Jones is hurt for the Vikings. He is putting his head down on the bench. He's got to be a little upset. Second and eight here, going for an inside zone. Singletary bounces around. He fights for it. What a run by Singletary. See, he doesn't get like these crazy like 50-yard runs like Saquon would do. But he does get the tough runs. And as long as he continues to fall forward, I'm cool with it, man. First and 10 here. We're going for a weak side uh, zone. Singletary finds room, and he gets another first down. Back-to-back -back runs there, converting. Great job by Devin Singletary. Continuing to lean on the run game. Two tight ends on the right side of that line there. They're coming out in a 6-1. Hands it off over to Singletary. Finds room. He takes off. And that is three freaking firsts in a row for Devin Singletary. You don't expect it. But the run game has been so solid for us that we got to make them think about it. You know, the more they keep coming out in these soft runs, the better it is for our running backs to go. You got uh, J.K. Dobbins there. Good block. By 76, Dobbins able to get about eight there. And this young runner, I, I did not realize how young. Wait, hold up. We're going to call time out here. I didn't realize, I saw Darren Beavers playing middle linebacker. I'm like, oh, I can't work. Um, I didn't realize uh, how young J.K. Dobbins is. Man. He's gone through so many injuries. He's only 24 years old. Two tight ends on the left side of that line there. Second and two. They're going for a play action. He's got Stoll. Stoll with the snag there. He's going to get the first down. And he's tackled out, out of bounds of the 26. Defense is loving uh, is not loving what's going on right now. Giants really finding their way. Staying balanced where we can. We got a cover one concept here. EJ's got Wandale across the field. Big touchdown. Wandale Robinson off the play action. There you go. You love to see it. Wandale Robinson playing so good, man. I really like having him back. 
I've been having him play probably most of the season in the slot and not get letting him just play as the wide receiver too. And now that I have him there, man, it is sweet to have. He, he's definitely a nice counterpart to uh, MHJ. Now in real life, right, Malik Neighbors is currently on the Giants and I'm looking forward to that rebuild next Madden, like how are we gonna do it? Cause it's a very young team uh, for the Giants. I, I just don't know how the Giants will kind of fare when it comes to uh, certain aspects of veterans. And, you know, there's very limited cap for the Giants right now in real life. And, you know, for us, we had to maneuver in a way to where we invested in the free agency last offseason. But this offseason, we got a... Oh, fumble, fumble, picked up by Pinnock! Big mistake by Aaron Jones. Oh, what was he doing? What was he doing right there? He was following the outside zone. And then it looks like, oh, Karake smacks it uh, out of his hands there. Great job by Okereke. But yeah, this offseason, we got about 16 million in cap space. So probably one free agent in my lineup is probably what I have to look at. And, you know, we may have to make some cuts or potential trades to make some room. But I don't see myself getting too crazy in that space. I prefer to kind of lean into the players that I do have, right? And just kind of see what we can do. We got we got some good pieces, in my opinion, that could allow us to um, kind of bring it back. You know, I might I might go for an upgrade in this offseason that uh, in, in um, maybe the linebacker spot but i'm honestly okay nice run right there by singletary he is having huge chunks of yards on the ground right now vikings just look perplexed i don't know what's going on but i'll take it man last time we ran a play action for a touchdown we got trips tight end right we're gonna do it again here darian beavers is out there he's got singletary there it goes. DJ's going to take off. He's in. Van Ginkle hits him, but DJ crosses the line. Big touchdown for the Giants. There you go. Way to get it done. Oh, I love that, man. Great job right there. 14 to 0. I have to go back and look. For some reason, I only have Jack Stoll and Bellinger as my tight ends. I'm pretty sure I run with a three tight end set. I gotta figure out what's going on there. So we gotta watch out with the three tight end sets. We might have to back off on that because I can't have my middle linebacker playing in that position there. We got first and 10 here for the Vikings. Uh, about 233 left here in the first quarter. Giants playing very good right now. They're gonna hand it off to Jones. Jones is going to fight forward, get about three there. Giants fans are loving this right now, man. They know they can really do some damage uh, in this game. They just kind of stick to it, and the, the morale is high for the Giants offense. Play action right there. Has time, throws it deep to Addison. He's going to be short. That was a great attempt right there on the cover one. I got fooled by the play action pass. They can't do anything there as the Giants are now looking at third and seven. We're going to press where we can. You got Aaron Jones in the backfield there. Throws it. Oh, nice throw to Hawk. Hawk keeps his legs moving. He's almost out of that. It'll be down at the 44-yard line, first and 10. First real big play right there for the, the Vikings. Two rushes only today. Wonder when they're gonna actually let it roll. There it is. Oh, Darnold's got room. Dexter misses him. He slides to the 38. 17 yard gain right there for Darnold. So he's starting to slip out of the back. We gotta be better than that. Let's see if we can get it going here. Hands it off to Aaron Jones. Jones falls into the arms. But of the Giants defense, but he kind of goes through it like a gauntlet. Doesn't give up. Able to get to the 32-yard line. And we're looking at second and three at the 32. Vikings making some progress here. Two, one. They're going to, oh, they're going to hike it. He's got a drag route right there. He hits Hawkinson. 
Hawkinson catches that in stride. Fumble, fumble! Okereke with another forced fumble. Oh, I'd love to see that. Okereke getting it done. It'll be 14-0 right now. Giants working through this game. You know, the, the uh, Vikings are currently under a, a, a 500, about two games about 500. So, you know, we're... We got to use this game to kind of mix it up where we can. Fake jet sweep half back dive right there for Jones. Big broken tackle right there on McFadden by Jones. Gets about six there to be second and four. Bengals currently beating the Panthers uh, in a really tight game there. Seven to three. I'm responsible for Hawk. There it is. Jones finds some room. Riley Ross. Uh, Ma Moss able to hit him at the three. Now we got to figure this out, right? How are we going to stop this third and goal? Uh, first and goal, I mean, for the for the uh, Vikings here. Darnold waiting. Oh, man, he threw it away. Good job on the 3-4 right there. We played the zone in the right spot. Anytime you do that, though, you got to wonder, when are they going to try to pass the ball? I mean, run the ball. So I, I, I like having the four threes where I can. Oh, he sees something. He calls an audible. Defense playing tight. They're going to hand it off to Jones. Jones has some room. Able to stiff arm one, but look at that. Way to come downhill right there by Javarius Owens. He's been such a huge free safety for us this year. You know, we didn't invest in another crazy safety. I said, you know what, Javarius Owens, Pinnock, Belton, they can kind of make it work, and they're doing great right now. Third and goal here. High formation set. We're going to hand it off to Jones. Jones can't go anywhere. Big stop by the defense. Travis Gibson comes off the edge. And uh, the Vikings will settle for a field goal. 8.35 left here in the half. And right now, we aren't doing too bad. They're going to boot it through the uprights. It'll be 14-3. to Well, they don't get skunked. But the Giants defense just uh, bends and, and doesn't break. I love it, man. Let's keep it rolling here. Let's keep it rolling. 8.33 left here in the half. McKenzie with the chance to return. We're just going to let the ball hit the end zone. We'll start the drive at the 25. Here we go. Singletary's running pretty strong right now. I don't see myself trying to do anything too crazy. I kind of repeat it. Lean on Wandell Robinson. I haven't hit uh, Harrison uh, too much today or at all. Wandell's been great. He's been a nice target for us. So if I can get some of these spread sets right now, I will. And I'm um, hoping we can get uh, Harrison going here. Second and five. O-line's playing very good too. Got Bellinger. What a catch by Bellinger. Able to snag that against Harrison Smith. And we'll be first and 10 there. Not doing too bad right now. Bunch right on this one here. Harrison trying to set up. Wandale could be open. We got Malachi Corley uh, as a potential target along with Bellinger. DJ's got Singletary out of the backfield. We get another first, uh, another seven yard gain here. We're blocking up front. And we got a two tight end set. Let's keep it rolling right now. Kind of keep it focused. Slant. Oh, wow. He got hit by another dude. Greenard was guarding a player and uh, decided to light my dude up, huh? Third and three. Got an RPO concept here. Let's see how this works out. Gets it over to Wandale, but what a play by 44. He did not get fooled. I think that's Metellus. Giants have to uh, kick this off and get some defense going. They didn't use much time there. And uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Fulton with a chance. No, he doesn't get it. It'll be first and 10 at the 20 yard line for these dogs right here. First and 10, they're coming out in a three tight end set, two on the left, one on the right. 
Going for an outside zone. Good blocking right there. And then Hawkins just runs the wrong pursuit angle. He got destroyed. Let's be better, man. Come on. Oh, sees the man coverage. So it looks like uh, Darnold might be seeing a pattern here by the Giants. Hands it off to Jones. They run against the blitz, and there's some nasty hits Jones has taken, man. He is, he is definitely feeling some hits right now. But we're going we're gonna to keep trying to send blitzes, right? Like, he's not the best freaking Q, uh, QB out there, so you got to try. There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Are you kidding me there? How in the heck did that happen? Let's get right here, man. Come on. Good play right there by Sam Donald. Defense just has to, you know, stay tight where we can. Coming out in a cover one. Going for an outside zone. We sent the safety blitz correctly. And they could not get the run going there for Chandler. Loss of a yard. I love that right there, man. Defense doing it again, saying, okay, we dare you. We dare you. Cover one concept. Underneath, and Jefferson can't hang on to that one. Great play by Banks. Way to keep that rolling right there. And with third and 11, just can't let them get crazy here. Hope, yeah, there you go. A little bump and run right now. There it is. They were trying to go for a screen. We made sure to... Uh, to push Hawkinson off his route up front. So I, I like what I saw right there. Let's keep it rolling, man. Fourth and 11. 348 left here in the half. And the Giants uh, doing work. Great punt. Great punt. Can't uh, be upset about that one, man. See how you can roll here. Let's try an RPO. First and 10, inside our own 10. Tries to do a RPO, we hand it off. Got a two yarder there. Let's go JK Dobbins here, get him going. We are looking at second and eight at the 11. Little power run right there, and Dobbins gets smoked by 95. Third and six. So we've been playing a little on the inside there. And I'll try not to get too crazy, but I want to make sure I'm not leaving my guy in a situation where he's going to get smoked. Oh, and I just said that. Van Ginkle went to the inside. Don't know why Neil didn't cover that and that's what i'm saying right like we got christian haynes who we drafted we got dominic pooney who we also drafted in the o-line evan neal a fifth year option can seem okay but we may just let the man go i i don't know if it's necessary for us to try to keep him around and maybe we end up trading him in the off season because i just don't like the fact that we are having issues with the, I'd rather go rock with Haynes. Haynes played pretty good at left guard. Uh, Pooney's been doing, you know, okay when he's when he's having to play out there. So I got to remember that. Throws it over the flats to Aaron Jones. Good tackle by Maddox. Good tackle by Banks. The Giants, you know, they're working through it. The clock is still running here. Got Aziz old Jalari trying to give... Uh, uh, cave on a little bit of a break. He's out there. Just a seam route. And they are inside the red zone now, folks. Vikings really playing smart here. You can use the entire clock now. They get the ball back, too, at the half. So there's a chance for them to double dip here. Throws it over to the left on the outside. It's uh, the five there. Nice catch by Jefferson. And we are in trouble, folks. 
We are definitely in trouble now. They got 20 sec 21 seconds left. Didn't use a timeout. There it is. He's trying to call some changes there. They're going to hand it off. Jones finds room. He slides in. Touchdown. What a way to get down the field by the Vikings. We played too passive in that in that drive there and we paid the price viking uh you look at the eagles tie game right there with the buccaneers buccaneers are in an interesting spot too right they're kind of working through wow saquon yeah buccaneers are no joke six carries so far for barkley for seven yards yeah i could see that happening that's a pretty crazy group right there there goes uh mckenzie nice move right there he's gonna fall forward down at the 31 now they got us projected to go for a handoff here. I am just kind of looking through this. We have yet to really hit Harrison, man, and it's tough, uh, but I just don't want my guys getting hurt. Singletary's been running so good today. We call our second time out. Singletary has been playing ridiculous today. Running's been nice. We got Corley on the right. Harris in there that's gonna there you go I love this now we're giving Harrison a chance the ball by himself We've got a one-on-one -on -one there potentially depending on what that cover two does nope he's going back yep 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 that was a good move on the cover two there it really pulled back I didn't think that was gonna happen I thought they were gonna give my guy a little bit of a chance but Harrison could work here he's got a little one-on-one -on -one gonna block gray there see what happens here oh he's pulling back dj he throws his deep it's double covered there's a flag on the play there's a flag on the play what is it pass interference oh he screwed up big mistake it's first and 10 at the 18 and the giants get an opportunity to kick a field goal here with zero on the clock big arrow right there right like so with with how good harrison's been playing for us the last couple games he's been kind of shut down and i think it has a lot to do with uh just the teams really honing in on him they don't want him getting loose and uh we're paying the price he's you know jefferson uh, mhj is feeling it right now and man we're I, I'm, I'm proud of how this team's playing right now but i'd love it if I really want MHJ to be the first receiver in quite some time to hit a thousand yards. For him to do it in his rookie year, it's pretty much Odell Beckham. So that would be nice to see on this one. Aaron Jones, uh, almost a thousand yards already. He's ran pretty well for them. So despite them being only they're five and seven, they're in a pretty tough division. So uh, you know they're still making it work. There, cover one here, throws it, hits the little curl route. That's an easy first down for Justin Jefferson. Bunch left there. Let's see what we got here. 10 26 left here in the third quarter. Misdirection handoff there. Jones finds some room. He's got plenty of room. He's got room. Aaron Jones looks like he's going to take it to the house. 10 5 touchdown. Defense wasn't ready for it. Jones was patient for it. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying the game. My goodness, did we screw that up. Come on, man. So we're looking at 17-17 now. Going to be tough. But we got to stick to it. The offense, it's getting there. I don't think the offense has been that bad. We just had some tough situations. Hopefully, they'll they'll make it work. And uh, well, it's been kind of crazy. But we got we to gotta keep the faith here, man. We're looking at first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Two tight ends on the left side of that line. We're going for an outside zone. Singletary's been playing pretty good for us. So why not? Oh, wow. They hit that edge quickly. And the Giants lose two yards there. Did not expect that. 220, uh, two, second and 12. 940 left here in the third. EJ going to take off. He takes a nasty hit, but he does get six there. 
Third and six. We stepped into the pocket on that one. Wow, look at all those guys right there. That's got to be a little chaotic for them, huh? Let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. DJ's in trouble. Big sack by Van Ginkle. The O-line didn't hold it down. We got a little paranoid and we couldn't hold it. We took off the outside of the pocket and the Giants are looking at playing defense once again. 8.23 left here. Giants have to find a way, man. Uh, Aaron Jones has been running well, so we got to remember that. Don't let that guy get loose. You're going to hand it off again. There it is. Look at that. He cuts back. Able to get a big first down. And then Okereke is hurt on the play. Oh, what the hell, dude? We have so many injuries on this team, which is why I'm surprised why I only have two tight ends. I got to go look at that. Figure out what's going on there. First and 10 at the 46. Play action. Darnold's got time. What a catch by Addison! What a catch by Addison! Bruised shoulder. So we're going to be without Okereke for a little bit. Hopefully he comes back and he's ready to roll. But man, oh man, we are in trouble, folks. Sam Darnold sees something here. We're going to hand it off. And there it is, McFadden and Avante Maddox shutting it down. Loss of two yards there. Green Bay, 9-4. They beat they beat the Chicago Bears, 17-7. So the Caleb Williams era is not starting so well, uh, so, so well this year. It's only his rookie year. There goes Darnold. Burns! Able to get the sack! Able to get the sack! You don't pay that man so much money and not him get sacks. Well, that was not a sentence. My apology. <laughs> you don't pay him that much for him to not get sacks. That's huge right there. Third and 18. Throws an out route. What are we doing? It was third and 18! Oh my goodness, Addison gets it done and the Giants are looking at first and 10 in the red zone now. Okereke's back, so he wasn't gone for too long. First and 10 here. Big jet sweep half back dive. Aaron Jones breaks a tackle by Aziz Jolari. Michael McFadden, McFadden gets that done and we are looking at second and four. 521 left here in the third quarter. Come on, man. Let's get it together here. It's an out right there to Hawkinson. Good tackle by Pinnock. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, a dude did a barrel roll in the middle of the freaking game. What are we doing? <laughs> that was crazy. We got a shotgun set here. We're assuming pass, but they're going to run it. Okereke, though. But we, we hit the right gap, and we're looking at second and goal at the four. They got goal line now. I have to set that. No, I have a goal line set option. Why didn't they let us throw goal line against their goal? That was weird. Second and goal. Hands it off to Aaron Jones. He finds a way in, and the Vikings have taken the lead in MetLife Stadium. Oh, no. Defense. Gave up so many points. It was 14 to 3. It is 23 17, 24 17. Vikings with the lead here. We got to figure this out. I wonder if my team did an auto. Ch no, I, I don't have Phil Roster on. Did I really go two tight ends? I got to look at that. Malachi Corley with a bad return down at the 19. Singletary's got to find a way, man. We got to find a way here. Let's let's try to get back to it. Two tight ends on the right side of that line. Here we go. Play action here. He's got Wandale by himself. What a move. He breaks a tackle, falls forward. We flip the field. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. That's the kind of stuff we needed right there. Great blocking up front by the O-line. Let's get it done here, folks. First and 10 at the 44. And it's picked off! Bad throw, Metellus gets it done. DJ with the 
mistake! Come on, man! What was that throw? That was a horrendous throw by Daniel Jones. And there you have it, the trap game is coming in full effect here. The Giants needs to get their crap together. Throws it to the flats. Good tackle there by Banks. You got to be better here, man. Come on. Second and eight at the 42. 235 left here in the third quarter. Pressure. Hits an out route to Addison. What are we doing? Why are we not guarding these guys? Oh my gosh, Addison is killing us today. 89 yards? Blitz! Throws it away. You lucky duck. Defense is kind of taking some pressure off uh, Sam Darnold, man. I, I need more there. Seam route hits it! Number two's first catch, Robert Woods. The Giants are fumbling the bag today. 125 left here in the third quarter. Strong side formation here for Aaron Jones. They're going for a run. Jones has room. He's going to be tackled by Pinnock at the five, but it's second and two at the five. What are we doing, guys? The defense is really struggling right now. I don't know what's happening. O-line defense. They're going to hand it off to Jones. McFadden found the right gap. 32 at the five. Eagles have taken the lead there against the Bucks. 21-7. The defense is hanging on tight. We're looking at third and two now. I'm anticipating pass. Yep. He's got Hawk, but he doesn't make it. It's fourth and inches at the three. Are they going to go for it? They are. Defense has to stand tight. That'll end the quarter. So maybe they punt. I mean, they kick it off. Maybe they don't. The Vikings have taken a huge advantage of the, of, of the game, man. They really have. We have had issues, and we are paying the price. Fourth and inches here. Defense trying to get real close. I'm responsible for Hawk. This is a straight freaking blitz. Throws it, and it's caught by Addison. Trey Hawkins gets smoked, and he was man covered inside. Oh my gosh, how did you screw that up? Trey Hawkins is getting abused out there, dude. Addison just killed him on the slant. Look at this, it was great man coverage. Wow, what a play by, uh, by, uh, by freaking Addison and the Giants are down by two possessions here. There was a late pick in that third quarter by Daniel Jones that really shifted what we're doing, right? And you have to think about, you know, the Giants can't just like pull the emergency uh, parachute and say, okay, the put in Drew Locke. We got to, we're winning. We just got to roll with what we have. Now, next season, maybe he's not with us. Maybe he is. Uh, but right now we gotta we gotta stay positive here and hopefully we can fight back. But we gotten smoked. There's been a lot of touchdowns by the Vikings. There's Belly, a great block by Harrison up the field. It's just him and Harrison Smith. And we get all the way to the 37 right there. Great catch by Bellinger. And the Giants are saying, okay, 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 let's keep it rolling here. Don't give up. We haven't really eyed any of our other guys here. Uh, are the players, but we might have to look at a vert, but they've been playing smart with the cover too. DJ's looking around. He's got room and he's going to take off with his legs. He's going to go out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Three for 31 today for Daniel Jones. That's not too bad right there. First and 10. And yeah, they've been really playing our guys very well. Uh, I can't, I can't, uh, oh, big mistake. Schlautman there. Our backup center gets smoked. Second and 14, Giants. Man, oh man, we gotta get it right here, folks. Second and 14. He's got Harrison, but the great defense by Byron Murphy. Harrison Smith, uh, Harrison Jr. couldn't get by. We're looking at third and 14, folks. 
This has been a tough game for the Giants. They just have not found their way here. Third and 14. He's got Harrison there who was able to get his first catch of the game. And it's going to be at the down at the seven. That's It's been a tough game for, for Marvin Harrison for sure. But we got to keep the faith here. First and goal. That's going to go well out of bounds there. Great defense by Blake Cashman. Single back deuce close. We're looking at a weak side split. Hands it off. Look at Singletary. F trying to make something out of nothing there. Third and goal at the six. The Giants are in trouble, man. Definitely are. Defense is playing smart, but we just haven't done well on offense at all. Got a play action there. And it's a sack! Blake Cashman did not give up. He came in hot on that one. And uh, the Giants will settle for a field goal here. We got to hope for two more possessions to make this work. Let's see if we can stop the bleeding, dude. It's been rough. That's pretty much... It was 14-3, to then it was 17-3 to at the half. It's been a... 28-0 run basically or 28 to 3 run for the Vikings. They just it killed us and we did not pay attention to it. And that's the thing is these leads start to dwindle when we aren't playing the way we should. And the defense is getting smoked by a dynamic duo with Jefferson and uh and uh Addison. You know, we've been so worried about Jefferson that you neglect uh, Addison, who's easily a number one guy on any team. Oh, play action. He faked me out. Kayvon Thibodeau. I mean, Okereke gets to Darnold. Darnold throws it away. But it's second and ten now. I need the Giants to get it right here, man. This is what we do. This is what we do right here. Send the dogs. Pressure coming in. Blitz is Avante Maddox gets there. It's a fumble. Picked up by McFadden. He dove on it. And it's first and 10 at the 11. Darnold didn't expect it. We sent the dollar blitzes. We sent it all out of that formation, man. Maddox was coming in hot off the edge. And now we are looking at first and 10 at the 11. Let's go, Giants. We'll play action there. Got room. DJ's going to take off. He goes out of bounds. Ooh, a little late hit by Van Ginkle there. Second and five. Defense playing okay. Going to try to even it out here. Watch the middle linebacker on that one. There you go. Andrew Thomas is guarding him. Oh, big hit by number 95. Third and three. It's Jerry Tillery there. So the Giants looking at third and three at the four. Look at that. They're coming out in a goal line. There's an option here. Hands it off. Singletary trying to find room. Bullies his way. It's going to be short. Wow, that is not that is not a, a line of screen. He moved up like two yards. Wow. Wow. Fourth and three at the four, and the Giants have to go for it here. We got to. Here we go. Fourth and three. Gets it to the RPO to Harrison. Harrison, hand fighting. He's going to be short. Harrison can't beat freaking 96. Oh, my gosh. The Giants are. Oh, wow. What a mistake. What a mistake today, man. We got to get to him. First and 10 to the three. And we miss it. There goes Aaron Jones getting the first down at the 19. 168 yards, three touchdowns. We paid the price today. We were supposed to win this one. The Vikings were out of it. And we are getting smoked now. Play action there. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I just blew past the freaking quarterback for a second or third time today. Defense is hoping for the best here. Second and 10. They're going for an audible. We're going to try to see if we can rush to the inside. 
Blitz coming in hot. That's Okereke with the sack. I love it. Third and 18 there. Defense is playing very good right now. Do not let them get loose. Pressure coming in. Darnold feels it. Throws it away. He was in trouble. It'll be fourth and 18 at the 12. So the Giants are down by a... Oh, I probably could have kicked a field goal now that I think about it. I screwed that up. We would only be down by a possession. Four minutes left here. Giants are going to have to figure this out. Here comes McKenzie with a chance to return. He got blasted at the 43. Giants try. Wow, they got they got to do pressing right now. Is that real? Motioning over Harrison. There you go. Give me a little more room there. DJ can't throw it. What the hell? Did they send a blitz? Wow, they sent a blitz on by Ivan Pace. Didn't expect that. Giants are in trouble, folks. Giants are in trouble. 320 left here. We we played around with our food, man. He's got Corley. Nice throw right there to the rook. Down at the 43. So the Giants now trying to get something going here. Hands it off to Singletary. Singletary's gonna fight to get out of bounds. He does. 14 for 77 for Devin Singletary. 253 left. We just got to make this work, folks. Second and six. 253. If we can get a little closer, maybe we kick a field goal and then hope to stop him. But gets it to single tier, uh, to Eric Gray. Gray finds room. He's going to fight to get out of bounds. He does. Down at the 23. Great run by the young running back there. The Giants are looking at first and 10 at the 23-yard line. Little by little, guys. Little by little. Throws it away. There was just nobody open. Second and ten. Yeah, he's upset about it. I get it. Got Corley on the right, on the left there. Would be the guy we go for, depending on what that cover two does. Steps back a little bit. DJ sees it. He's got room right up the middle. He's gonna dive to the seven. We're gonna no huddle this one. Here we go. There goes DJ, gets pushed out of bounds. The clock doesn't stop. The clock doesn't stop. We can't call, oh, there you go. DJ's rolling around, throws it. Up in the air to Gray, no good. Third and goal at the four. Play action here. He's got Wandale. Wandale stopped. He gets clipped at the freaking two by Cashman. And the Giants are in trouble here. Fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Where is he going? Can't go anywhere. They don't do it. They die. Oh, no. The Giants screw this up. The Giants screwed this up, man. Oh my goodness. Hands it off to Jones. Down at the three. We played this game so horribly wrong. And that, that's really me, dude. That's a user error situation here. Third, uh, second and nine. He's trying to get around. He does. That's Hawkins and uh, Harrison Jr. there. Third and seven. More than likely... They're going to try to just get a first down. Yeah. There it is. Pressure to safety. Oh, baby. But you know what? That's not a bad call because no matter what, it's 31 to 22. The only way this works is if we get this, fee, uh, get this touchdown and able to get the onside kick. So that's actually not a bad play right there. I think I saw the Saints do that in a international game where uh, Drew Brees ran all the way back and caused the safety because he knew they were up by, they're going to be up by two possessions. Oh my gosh. And we just had a tough time today. And 
with a lot of injuries on the team right we got three currently injured one on ir like the hits just kept coming in and we just did not have the problem uh, opportunity there he throws that one off third and ten it's a rough one you know we we didn't play smart i i had the lead i didn't leverage the guys i was supposed to and we're feeling the pressure now on these these uh these late games man it's been rough it's been really rough first and 10 here at the 43 and yeah, the way they're playing back it's got room what a catch by freaking wandale he doesn't give up i love it man he doesn't give up and that's an easy pick they might take it to the house here. Josh Metellus looking. No one's around. The offense is exhausted. And that's a great way to end this one. Holy Toledo. The Giants lose in a dramatic fashion. Wow. All <laughs> these dinguses are going for a field goal. I mean, a two-pointer. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, is this your Super Bowl right here? Is that what's going on? 39-22 Giants lose a tough one. Daniel Jones, man. It's been rough with him, definitely. I thought he played okay, but it's been a rough one for the Giants. The game is over. 39-22, a huge meltdown in the Meadowlands there. As uh, they just couldn't get it right. When you look, yeah, look at this. When you look at the team stats... They just went crazy. Minnesota didn't stop scoring. It was 17-10 by the half. And then they just let us go. And uh, we did not do well. So we, we got things we got to think about right now. Uh, I might have to start putting some players on IR. I do not know why I do not have my um, tight end situation going on. I got to go look at my, my depth chart. But that is a rough one, man. Didn't expect the Giants to collapse like that. And it will not get any easier. As you are talking about a tough scenario here. As we got the Cowboys coming up. Along with the freaking Eagles right after that. And then the Bengals in week 17. Um, I need to check something here real quick. Because like I said, I'm, I'm actually quite perplexed why I don't have a tight end. Oh, you know what? It, I think Kager was hurt. And I just didn't see it. Was, uh, maybe that's what it was. I was like, why well, don't I have any tight ends? Yeah, I got Hyatt and Haynes out for two more weeks. John Michael Schmidt currently I, uh, on the IR. But next game's not going to be any easier, folks. Cowboys, you know, we got it rolling there. We got, we got sacked a couple times for DJ. I uh, got a hot opponent. Looks like we are in second place in our division, but the Eagles are only a game behind. And the Commanders aren't doing too bad. They're starting to find their stride with Jaden Daniels. We have to find a way though, man. Cowboys are not too, are, are a very tough team. We just gotta figure out the right concepts to run. I need MHJ to go off in this next one. But that'll do it for us today, everybody. If you like what you saw, please drop a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And most importantly, subscribe to keep up with the series. Giants gotta stay cool, calm, and collected. Positive is no matter what, even if we collapse at the end of this year, we will still be above 500. And I got to be positive wherever I can. Until next time, everybody, as always, let's go Big Blue. Have a good one.